All right, today we're going to talk about trust and we're going to talk about the three things that your customer needs to believe in order to move forward with you on a trust basis. Sometimes in sales, you may have heard this as the trust triad. And so let's break this down. The three ways that your prospect, your customer needs to trust you. So let's break these down. Number one, your prospect needs to trust your product your product specifically. They also need to trust your company, the actual brand, the actual company, whether that's you as a coach or if you're selling for a different company, they need to trust the actual company, the organization. And then thirdly, your customer needs to trust you as the salesperson. So let's break this down to the very first thing, building trust in your product. This is why you'll see a lot of high ticket offers they offer different products. A lot of times they'll offer like a downsell or things of that nature. And here's the reason why, because they, you wanna create products that truly serve your prospect to what they actually need. And I do this all the time, and this is the reason why every pitch I give at Wake Up Wealthy is truly customizable. It's custom, I build out custom game plans for that particular prospect on what they need specifically. And based on what they need, I'm gonna offer them something different and price point can be different too, based on what they need. I'm truly trying to serve them in this role, not just offer them something because I want money. It's all about building the offer to serve them. So as a result, I do this because I want them to trust the product itself. So how do we build trust with this product? First, we ask the right questions. Asking them the right questions, truly understanding what their problem is, I then take what they share with me and I build those problems into what I'm offering them. So that way they clearly understand, this is what I'm offering you, this is the reason why you need this based on what you shared with me. I make it very relatable to them, I give examples. So that way at the end of the pitch, they understand that the product I'm offering them, it makes sense for them and it's what they need specifically. So that's what I'm doing. I'm building trust in the actual product itself. Now, secondly, your prospect needs to believe in your company. Now, if you are a, if you're just running your own coaching business, you know, that may be you. You still have your own brand. Your, your coaching offer still has its own brand and you need to think of this as such. So that way your customer, if they're gonna work with the overall company, they believe in the organization. So here's a few things you need to ask yourself. You know, one, what does your company stand for? What is the why behind your company? I share this with every guy that I offer to come into Wake Up Wealthy. If I invite them, I'm always sharing with them, here's the reason why we started Here's the reason why we do what we do so they have a perfect understanding of it. I'm also using a lot of testimonials. Social proof is extremely important here because if I want them to believe in this company, I want to show them that my company, my organization has helped hundreds of men do this, 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 and this. And you don't have to hear it from me, you can actually hear it from them. This builds a lot of trust into your branding, into your organization, into your company. And a lot of times now, I have a lot of guys come to me and they say, yeah, Brandon, I've looked up Wake Up Wealthy, I've done my research, like this, this seems like a very phenomenal company. It's just, it seems solid, I'm seeing all of these wins. That is the foundation that you want to build. So how do you do that if you're getting started? When I was getting started with my NLP coaching offer, I was giving out free uh, coaching sessions to people that I, I knew. And in return, I just said, hey, I'm gonna ask you to give me a testimonial based on all the work that I've done for you. And so after a while, and it didn't take very long, I had this long list of testimonials of I had guys saying like, wow, like Brandon, you really helped me do this, this, and this, thank you so much. Put, put that together, made a VSL out of it. And all of a sudden, I have all these testimonials. I have the social proof that what I'm doing actually works. So you can do exactly that. People need to trust, people need to believe in your company. So that's the second one. Now the third belief, and this is so very important, is that your prospects need to believe in you as the salesperson, no matter what. This doesn't matter if you're selling your own offer or if you are just a high ticket closer for a company. I'll share this with you. I've noticed in my time in the sales world, people that have their own offer, that's running their own offer, they typically sell 
the most. And here's the reason why. It's because they believe in what they're doing. They're very convicted in what they're doing. When an actual coach is selling his or her own product, they close the most. Compared to someone who is a closer for a bigger company that just came on board, maybe spent six months with the company, the conviction isn't always there as much. So your prospect needs to believe in you. Now, how do you help increase this belief, really intensify this belief that your prospects can have in you as a salesperson? Here's a few ways you can do this. One, you personally, you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, honestly, what I'm selling right now do I believe in the product that I'm offering to them? Do I truly believe that this product I'm offering them is the right fit for them and can help them get to where they want to go? This is very important because if you offer them a product and you are unsure yourself if it's the right thing for them, it will come out in your tonality. It will come out in your energy. They will pick up on it. You need to truly ask yourself that. You also need to ask yourself, do you believe in the company that you're representing, whether it's your company, whether it's a different company. Do you honestly believe in that company? And thirdly, you need to ask yourself, do you believe in you? I've met a lot of coaches who are struggling with selling their offer, and what we find out is at the end of the day, they have some doubts about themselves. They have some deeply rooted self-doubts at the subconscious level of their mind, and they didn't even really realize it. And as a result, it came out in their tonality. It came out in how they presented themselves. And their prospects picked it up. They truly felt that. They felt that uncertainty out of that salesperson. So that's very important. You need to ask yourself, do you truly believe in you? And so believing in you, believing in the product, believing in the company. These are very important questions that you truly need to ask yourself. And I would even look in the mirror and say, honestly, do I have any reservations with these three things? The offer, the company, the product. And I'll tell you, typically, if, if I'm going to coach it and bring on a new closer at Wake Up Wealthy, I prefer that that closer has been a client of Wake Up Wealthy prior. And here's the reason why. Because if they have worked with Wake Up Wealthy in the past and they've personally seen, here are all of the changes that Wake Up Wealthy has done in their lives and of others, I always notice that the energy comes out so much more vibrantly when they have personally seen these changes happen compared to someone who hasn't been a client of that program and they may say, yeah, like this program's really good. It really helps people. That is so different than someone that says, this program absolutely changed my life and this is why I wanna to talk to you about it. So two very different things, and this is why you truly have to ask yourself, where is your conviction? Are you truly convinced that this company, this product is right for them? And are you convinced that you are the right person to offer them the product? If you can solve for these three things, you can build so much trust with your prospect. And that amount of trust is what's gonna bring you to the next level to really help them, guide them to making a very important decision. To say, look, are you willing to put a significant amount of money down to make some huge changes in your life? Now, if you like this content, please like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you, answer any questions that you have. I'm pretty accessible. Reach out to me on Instagram at brandon.gif.